What's up? This is Trey West. I'm with So Ambitious. Tammy on So Ambitious TV. Shout out. We are Columbus 614. Hey, what's up? It's your favorite tomboy ever. Ambitious Tammy. And I am here with... Trey West. Hey. Check it. On oh, oh my Dirk shit, this is not a diss. And all my niggas shoot like Curry, they don't miss. I'm slaying beasts like I ain't got no patience. If you a fuck nigga, then I don't want relations. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm doing good. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. Alright. Right. Right. Make you feel special. <laughs> okay, so who is Trey West? Uh are we talking about where did I get the name or are we talking about who am I? Well, let's start with the name. Where did you get the name? All right. I got the name from West, Russell Westbrook. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. I think it's tripping. He's my favorite basketball player. And I took the Russell. I took yeah, I took the Russell off Westbrook. Yeah. And um, his three his three pointer was nice at the time. So I was like, uh, uno, dos, trace. But you can't say trace West. Yeah. So I just took the S off and I put it together and I just came up with Trey West and I just ran with it. Okay. <laughs> that's inter. I've never even heard anything but like that. But that's really how it happened. That's and my really favorite player in the, in, in the whole league. Still now? like To this day, even if he doesn't win any championships, that's my favorite player. That's my dad. <laughs> Ride or die. I love it. Okay, so being a female rapper, I'm sure you face different challenges. How do you work with that? Um, I would say that it it kind of makes me work harder because it's like they underestimate underestimate me. Yeah. They underestimate underestimate what I say in my raps, or a lot of people say what I do. I, I don't rap what I do like. So it just it just makes me rap harder and right. show them that me being a female don't really have anything to do with rapping. Exactly. Like with what you're saying and what I'm saying is no different than what you're saying. Right. So. Do you feel like there are advantages to being a female rapper or more so disadvantages? I feel both ways. I feel like there are advantages in some instincts that there's not a lot of female rappers. So yes. when a female rapper comes out and she's hot, like for instance, when was the last female rapper that came out? Young and May. But who who was before that? How long did it take before that? Uh, yeah. How long did it take before that? And I think there's disadvantages because there's disadvantages with females in every aspect of life. It's not yeah. just music, so. Oh yeah, definitely. I definitely agree. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about where you're from. I know it's a little bit yeah, it is interesting. A little, a little bit of the clouds. <laughs> let's talk about it. Um, I was born in Columbus, Ohio. I was born at Grand Hospital. I grew up my first three years. I was in Columbus, but then my mom got a scholarship to Hampton University, which is in Virginia. What? Yeah, she had a full ride tennis scholarship. My grandma. She, I don't know. She, Did you she, say tennis? Tennis, yeah. That was my first sport, actually. But uh, she got a full ride tennis scholarship to Hampton University. So I moved down there with her, and then mm -hmm. I went to school like I was supposed to. But I decided to move back to Columbus in 11th grade. I went to Centennial, played basketball for my uncle. He was a coach there. But I'm, I'm keeping a stack. Columbus turned me up. My mom brought me back home. For 12th grade, oh my yo, God. Columbus had me turned up, man. I, they, they, whew, so, y'all turned me out. So you got in a lot of trouble is what it's Yeah, basically, like. and my mom was like, bring that ass back home. <laughs> and then, but after that, you know what I'm saying, I went to college like I was supposed to on a basketball scholarship. I ain't, I ain't like it, though. So, I don't know, I thugged out for the next two years, and then I came up back up here to go to University of Cincinnati. Oh my gosh! Yeah, it's, I don't even know where to start. Yes. Okay. So <laughs> basketball. It's so your first sport was tennis. My first sport ever in my life was tennis because of my grandma. I grew up with my grandma. Yeah. So my first sport was tennis, but I took on basketball. I had a scholarship and all, but I was just too bad. I was smoking weed. They was like, "We ain't rocking with you." <laughs> 
<laughs> so did you, were you self-taught or were you hanging around other people that played no, basketball? No, I played AAU my whole life. Wow. I traveled every year. I was on AAU team. I played high school, middle school, varsity, high school, all that. So, so even though you I, did get the the scholarship, you weren't like really into it. You weren't. Really no, nah, I wasn't with the school. So I didn't like the education part. I like okay. basketball, but it, I wasn't with the books. Oh, okay. So, but you did graduate. I graduated from UC after. I just recently graduated. Like I get to get my diploma in August. What? What was your like, major? Electronic media technology. So it'd be, it'd be an associate of applied science. Oh wow. Yeah. That sounds difficult. Was it? It was a long journey. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So what do you plan on doing with with your degree? Are you still gonna do anything with it or did you kinda get it just to just to have I it? I got it. To be honest, I got it because my grandma pressed it out. You okay. need a degree. Yeah. But I also did it for a personal reason, like I need backup. What is this rap shit? Don't yeah. work. Yeah. But I also got it to teach me how to do this shit. Yeah. That's why I got it in a certain, you know, I got the certain degree I got because I wanted to learn the ins and outs of the industry. Right. So. What do you feel like are some things that you have learned um, about the industry? I guess business wise. Business wise. I've learned a lot of things, you know, when it comes down to really like doing business, like professionalism, resumes, you know, just networking, Marketing. having your stuff together when it comes to videos, aesthetics, when yes. it comes to photos, you gotta, you gotta know your eye adept, you gotta know your whatever the word is, middle ground, so. you gotta know all that, web design, you gotta code. So it's a lot, but I, I figured it out. Yeah. I did it. Would you say that there's technically a science to it? Or is it just something that you have to be educated on in order to be... What do you... You could teach yourself how to do anything these days. Yeah. But you do need to... In order... If you want to go one route, if you want to go corporate route, you need the degree. Yeah. If you want to do it on your own, you don't need shit but YouTube and just working hard, a good work ethic. Okay, so what about your style? It's different. Do you have a, a vest on? Do you do you wear it every day? Like, how does this work? I do wear it. Sometimes I wake up and I put it on. Why? Because I like it. I like it and I'm, I'm different. Yeah. I mean, it looks my like friend, it's My best friend tell me I get dressed in the dark, but it works. You Do you really? I don't, but she says that's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wow, okay. But I don't know. I like to wear what I, I just, I, I wanted to bulletproof. I don't know because I feel that was just on a, basically I got from 50 Cent, you know. A lot of my songs had like a 50 Cent in the beginning, like 655, I, I say, in the movie where he's like, um, uh, get rich or die trying. He's like, fuck it, I think I should rob all these niggas. Yeah. 655, the video I dropped. The first line is, Fuck it, I think I should rob all these niggas. <laughs> he, what, what's he do? He comes out on stage on a bulletproof. Yeah. Uh, a lot of niggas hate me, is what I'm saying. So I need to stay protected. So a lot of niggas hate me. So it's really to make a statement. It's to make a statement, yeah. Like, basically, that's how I feel. What what female artist you seen with a bulletproof on? Definitely caught my eye because I haven't. I'm, I, it was not. It's not something that you see. It is something that you more so would see. With a man or yeah, a, yeah, right. A With a man. So does people? People look at me funny, okay. but people also are like, "Where'd you get that from?" Or "How did you get that?" Or this old lady about sixty asked me, talking about some. Where'd you get that from? I'm a Lyft driver. I want one. I mean, it made sense though. Random people getting in your car, but other people looking at me like I'm a rob the place. Oh my goodness. But I don't care though, because <laughs> I'll wear it wherever. So let's talk about your label. You have you have your own label. Yeah, it's called Three Three O Entertainment, Right Way Entertainment. Uh, I got the name Right Way because you know you do things the right way. Yes. Only I spelled it. Uh, spelled it differently, dedicated to my great grandma, cause her name is spelled right with a W, W R I G H T. Yeah. So I made it right way. Then I added the numbers because the place where she where she grew up, 
was 330, so I put 330 ENT, which is which is why I just named that song that I just dropped 330, 655. Those numbers all mean something. They just ain't random numbers. Right. Um, that's basically a label, and it's founded. It was founded in Wellsville, Ohio, because that's where she's from. It's a small town, so not a lot of people even heard of that town. Oh, wow. But it, it it just has a lot of significance to me. That's why it means so much to me. Yeah. So with your label, would you like would you like to be able to sign artists? Yeah, I'm or? already I'm looking to sign two artists right now. Like I got I got a, I got a fun set up, but I'm looking to sign two artists because at the end of the day, I need to be the boss. Right. Or just I just need to be I just need to have it all. Yeah. I don't want to say <laughs> boss them around. I just uh -huh. I'm just saying I need to I want to be at the top. Yeah. Well, definitely maybe a, like in, in a mentor way. Even yeah, though you can still be the one running the stuff behind yeah. the scenes and knowing the business and everything behind it, you still want to be able to help other people and give them a better direction. Like maybe they didn't have that. Maybe you didn't have that. And right, so you I want didn't. to be able to help someone else. Yeah. So it's not as hard. It's really nice when you have somebody that knows. That's what I'm saying. I'm, not, they, I'm not trying to be greedy. Exactly. So share the knowledge, share the wealth. I don't know about the wealth. We gonna get I don't know if I want to share my money, oh, but we can yeah, right. we can yeah, help you right acquire your own wealth. <laughs> we can help you do that for sure. <laughs> do you have any upcoming projects? Um, I just dropped three three zero. That's my latest projects featuring Dom Two Times. Shout out Dom Two Times. Um, shout out Kim Vision because he shot it. He's a movie maker. Um, I got a mixtape coming out. It's gonna call. It's gonna be called Westway. The date is just to to be ter to be determined because it's just gotta be it's gotta be perfect. But I got everything else on Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal. Yeah, that. you're literally everywhere. Yeah, I'm everywhere. All of the. I have it. I have every. I have distribution everywhere. Yes. So, so anywhere you're looking or questioning about, you can find Trey West. Every single. Every single one. site, YouTube, yes. all of that. SoundCloud. Apple Music, Google Play, Tidal, Amazon, eBay, all of it. Literally, no games. She does not play games. If you guys have not gotten anything from this interview, you should know Trey West don't play no games, okay?